Welcome back to the Blue Chip Breakdown of All Fans. I'm your host, Bull. Today we are celebrating a huge commitment in the class of 2025 with George McIntyre. He is rated the number 15 overall player in the entire country, the number three overall quarterback, and the number one player in the state of Tennessee. Six foot six, 182 pounds. Prototype everything. He's got great pocket presence. He's got a very strong arm, a whole lot of zip to his passes. He is going to be the successor to Nico if he can beat out Jake Merklinger. Things are looking great. This has been a phenomenal weekend for the University of Tennessee. Let's go ahead and jump to his film. All right, so right out the gate, he's going to fake the quarterback draw. Rolls out to his left. Great pocket present. And look at that bomb. Drops a dot right on his man. Rolling out to his left. That's exactly what you want to see out of a quarterback, especially in this system. You got to have a live arm. You see that fitting it into a tight window on that seam. Again, man, his offensive line doesn't look great, but oh my goodness, look at the moves. The pocket presence is already crazy, okay? And he is still dropping downs. We're going to see it again from this angle. Watch him go to work. Boom. Moves to his left. Steps up. Oh, sorry. Drops it off. That's a playmaker. That's a dog. That's what you want out of your quarterback. Reminds me a whole lot of Nico Iamaleava 2.0. Loving what I'm seeing so far. Let's see what it does right here. Okay, he's rolling out to his left. They got him rolling to his left a whole lot. I don't understand that. But that right there is a bomb, and that is right on target. Those are NFL passes. That's gorgeous. Okay, he's going to be beautiful in this system. Again, man, he is just under so much pressure. This is ridiculous. Oh, jump pass. And again, it's very, very accurate. So what you're seeing right now is number one, he's a playmaker. And then whenever he's got the time, you see how polished he is. That's what I'm noticing. Stands upright in that pocket, keeps his feet right up under him. He's got a beautiful arm motion. And I mean, that's just an effortless, perfect pass. That looked like that was about 35 or so yards deep out, okay? That lets you know that's NFL arm talent, okay? Now he's rolling out to his right. This is a lot better, okay, coach? We need to roll this guy to his right. The right-handed quarterback takes a shot, but he drops another dime on his man. Golly, he's running for his life all the time. But look at that. He's got some wheels, man. He is tall, okay? He's got beautiful strides, too. I mean, I don't know what his 40 time is, but he can most definitely move. We need that in this system. Again, reminds me a whole lot of Nico, okay? Maybe you can even take it back to like a Hendon Hooker-esque. He's going to operate this offense at a very, very high clip. Loving what I'm seeing so far. You can tell that he's also very polished. I mean, look at the way he's moving around. But just the, just the baller aspect to what he's doing, man. Whenever you've got to dodge two, three, four people and still be able to make plays, even on the high school level, that is extreme. Another beautiful ball thrown. That was a fade. Throws it in a perfect spot right there. That slant thrown in a perfect window. I mean, he is everything that you want. You can tell quick. It doesn't take a doesn't take a very long time. Doesn't take too many plays from this guy right there. You see the different arm angle. Okay, beautiful touch to his passes as well. Gets his feet set, delivers a strike, and he's under pressure yet again. What's going on with this offensive line? Boom, steps up. That right there. That's a college level throw. That's an NFL level throw. Fitting it into a tight window, and it is right on the money every single time. Again, man, he's running for his life, but. Woo, my goodness, that's beautiful. That was on like a 12-yard pass, but you got to love what you're seeing from a young man who can make plays like this. Now, let's see what he's going to do right here. Boom, deep out, right on the money. Okay, right on time. Those are timing routes. He's beautiful with that. Again, you can tell that, you know, he has definitely got some next-level coaching. He's got some sort of a quarterback coach that's working with him, and it's paying dividends. Again, great feet. Okay, gets his feet right. Beautiful ball, beautiful touch. Those are very catchable passes. Something that we've talked about a lot, okay? Some of y'all saying, well, you know, uh, you know, Milton is throwing passes that are just too hard to catch. He's throwing the ball too hard. There is a little bit of truth to that, okay? You can throw passes that are a little bit more difficult to catch, but you're seeing right here with G Mac, dude, he is throwing the ball with beautiful touch. And even when he's throwing it hard, you can tell that it's going to get to his wide receiver with a very soft touch. And it's very effortless. Everything that he's doing, he's got a very quick throwing motion, okay? He already looks like he could be, you know, an NFL caliber type of a player. Obviously, he's going to have some things that he's going to have to clean up before he gets there. But we're talking about him coming into Tennessee. He looks like he's the real deal. 
He's a guy that if we needed him to, I would say, you know, this is just his junior film. But if you think about what he's going to look like in his senior film, okay, and then what it's going to look like with an entire offseason, probably with Tennessee, because I think that he's going to enroll early in the spring. He's a guy that if we need him to step in as a true freshman, I think that he can. All he's going to have to do is probably gain a little bit of weight, but so far, so good. I'm loving this. And this is just beautiful, everything. Great footwork. I mean, just everything. Pocket presence is great. Very fast, very mobile. And you've got to be a mobile quarterback these days. You cannot be a statue standing back there any longer, okay? NFL teams don't even take quarterbacks like that anymore. So I'm loving it, man. Coach Heupel, he knows how to go out and find a good quarterback. This is, again, this is going to be perfect for what our system is. Look at him right there. I mean, lowering his daggum shoulder, running through traffic, running through tackles, all types of everything. Like you're seeing it all outside passes, inside passes, deep passes, throwing the ball with people in his face, different arm angles, lowering his shoulder right there. Okay, getting into the end zone, being a baller, being a playmaker, fades to the corner of the end zone, right on the money. He's doing it all. He could throw it on the run as well. You're seeing that. Again, guys, this is exactly what you want. I'm loving this for sure. He is a for sure five-star player. I hate to I hate to give it away so early, but my goodness, I mean, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Now, I did also talk about maybe he might get dropped down to a four star. But if you're watching this film right now, then you know for sure it don't matter what his ratings are. He's going to be a baller once he gets the opportunity to. And man, him versus Jake Berklinger, that's going to be a battle for the ages. I don't know who's going to win it, but right now it's looking like it's going to be a very close one. And coming into the class of 2025, this is a guy who has already been targeting other players for us. Look at the speed, too, man. I mean, he's he's everything. Literally, he's the total package. Just just great footwork everywhere. I mean, keeps his eyes down the field, finds a man, gets his feet set before he throws it. Now it's kind of a fadeaway throw, too, and it's right on the money every time. I'm loving his pocket presence, loving his touch, loving his arm strength, arm talent, arm motion. Literally, he's got it all. Look, boom. Okay, feet get set, throws it there. Very soft, beautiful. Wow, it's very easy to tell why Coach Hypo wanted this young man. He is literally everything that you want. I don't think there's any need for us to go through any of his individual grades. He's a five star in every single category. However you want to slice it, he's the absolute truth. I think that he really is actually even underrated, okay? Right as the number three quarterback in this class, to me, that's a little bit laughable, okay? I think that he should at least be number two right so juju did move up to this class i do think that juju is a generational type talent but george mack is right there with them okay they are neck and neck so you could call it 1a and 1b however you want to slice it but we've got g mac coming to knoxville he's going to be an absolute and total stud now again that quarterback competition between him and Jake Merklinger is going to be very very interesting because i also think that jake is another stud but that goes to show how good we're doing going out and targeting great players. Okay, moving forward from 2023, you know, to 24 and now on to 25. Georgia's done a great job giving us a head start in the 2025 class. And I think that we have a really good shot to finish top five with GMAC and everyone that he's going to be bringing to Knoxville. So a lot to be excited about on Rocky Top. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video, but that's going to be it. So please make sure to like subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks. Peace.